What's up, guys? We're here at Kilbourne Disc Golf Course. We've got Broad back on the channel. If you don't already subscribe to the channel, go check them out. Frisbee Club, putting out good content. Today, we're doing the Discraft Cicada Battle Laser Beams. Laser Beams. He's the Heiser Flip Dog King. I'm not quite as good at the Heiser Flip, so I'm going to do my best to hang in there. I thought it'd be good if we went Cicada off the tee and then approached and putted with whatever we want within yeah, reason. Okay. Um, so we'll go Cicadas off the tee, par fours, probably try and throw it twice. But yeah. anyway, let's get into it. Hole one's a little hyzer. I'll go first. Yeah. My channel, I'll go first. <laughs> get off my tee pad. <laughs> All right. It's pretty windy, so it's not great for the cicadas today. As he puts it in the hole. Aces it? Oh my gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> that was a you skipped quite a bit though. Yeah, no, I'm not but. in the circle. <laughs> Almost ace the us. Guys, it's the morning. It's pretty cold. It's like 10, 15 right now. Dylan got me up <laughs> earlier than I've been up in a while. So. <laughs> that looks really nice too. That's probably, oh, you're putting though. You yeah. get a good tree. Nice shot. <sighs> oh, audible. Audible. Oh, what? almost pays off, dude. Come on. Your putt's been really good lately. It's been feeling all right. Yeah, keep it up. Feeling solid. All right, guys. I thought I rang right. it up there. Be massive to get a stroke here. Big putt. Hopefully he does an air ball. Come on. Oh, that's so bad. Do you ever forehand this? I don't, I've never forehanded this. Doesn't feel great, my hand on the forehand grip, but I'm going to probably try it. I don't know. We'll see. Hole two is definitely more of a left to right moving shot, basically the exact opposite of the last hole. I guess I get to be the test dummy and see how the forehand cicada goes. Definitely needs a bit of heisey. Get through. He's lucky. He's so lucky. That's <laughs> circle's edge, possibly yeah. just inside. <laughs> He's so lucky. You're gonna have to get used to that because I'm always the luckiest guy. Man, see, Oh, is he bail on the flick? Nah, we'll, we'll run it. <laughs> we'll run it. You got to remember, I got the one foot off the ground release in this rock. <laughs> Looks like it's about two feet off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we'll see what we can do here. Ooh, I don't mind that at all. Go in. Whoa. Wow. That's a nice flick, dude. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've got two birdie looks here, two strange feeling forehands that's worked out. Come on. All right. First real putt of the day and it can't even pop it. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> one half an inch over the Jeez. cage. Let's go. One stroke lead, baby. Hole three, definitely more of a placement shot. We've got the signature Yuli gap here on the left. I'm not brave enough to try that today. I don't want to give up my lead. This guy's too good at hyzer flips to risk it. So I'm just going to do the uh, positional hyzer here. That Is he might be deep though. You, yeah, that's not good. Come on. I think you're just I'm, short enough. I'm just at, oh, that could be bad. Could be bad. And it's a par four, so we've got to go cicada, cicada. Yeah. I'm gonna just try and keep a real tight inside hyzer here. If it gets around, yeah, that is not a great skip, but you're in no, a good spot. But dead center, I think. You'll have a good approach in. Probably about 250 out. Just gonna take the cicada. Throw it up there. If she gets the flip, get through. Yeah, dude, nice shot. Snuck it right Work. in there. That was really good. Whew. I'm a little bit closer, but I think I have a more difficult shot in. It's a bit less hysery, a little more straight. Oh, baby. That needs to stop. That throw felt awesome, but Looks it went good. a bit too far. <laughs> so deep. Are you power grip? Do you power grip everything or fan grip or you pinch grip? Don't you, don't you do some weird like, cause I've been fan gripping it until we got to throw far. I'll fan grip. I'm power gripping this disc every time. Okay. No, 
Oh, the little cage. So you, you can get your That's stroke so back right here. That's Ooh. a good birdie. Great job. That's all, all square. Let's go. Wow. Guys, the cicada is like if you had a buzz assess and you just wanted it to go a little bit further. Kind of like the same thing, really. It's money. Yeah, I've been throwing the Brave in this slot from Lat 64, but I mean, it's very similar. I, I just love this kind of... I think it flies a little like more like a minus two one than a minus one one. I could see that, yeah. But yeah, I love that kind of minus two Which is a buzz flight assess. in the turn. I've got a gallery on this one here. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling the pressure. Oh, sneaky guy. What's that on your hat? A oh, microphone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing a little, little cicada battle YouTube video. Okay. Oh, Dylan. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's back. that minus two we were talking about. Yeah. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Probably not in great birdie position, but we might just go for it anyway. Oh. That's not good. Nope. So if you knock that down, there's a potential two strokes yeah. swing here. That's that not good. <laughs> Oh no, okay. Just a one stroke swing. Come on. It makes me happy. All right. So let's just, the score is a little questionable in our last video. Yeah, we had to get out of the way. There was like a group, <clears throat> groups behind us. So we let Dylan pick up a little 17 footer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably lose because I miss a 17 footer now. <laughs> but uh, all right, next hole, 285. And you're up one now. Kind of a nice little laser beam here. I'm going to go with the backhand again and try and get a little like sneaky right side pusher. So we'll see. Do you think your cicada is a little more stable than mine? Yeah, maybe. I don't, I don't really know, you know? Well, we got a tail Relatively right to left new. now. That was fan grip again, so I'm not going to get quite as much pop on it. But maybe this forehand is feeling kind of juicy, especially in the tailwind. I don't know. Give it a go. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that tailwind's really. Oh, nice. I mean, that was a really nice forehand. I thought it'd flip more, though. Yeah, it's a good big tailwind coming in. Oh, after the kick of a lifetime, I found myself just inside circle one. Actually, need to think about the wind a little bit today. <sighs> Come on, nice putt. Yes. That's good. We needed that. Oh, tie, tie ball game now. Yeah. Hole six. We're gonna play the par three variant. It's three fifty four. I'm gonna try to flick one out there. I don't think it's big tailwind again, so I don't think I have the ability to turn it that much. <clears throat> Does it doesn't get the ground play? Yeah. Yeah. That'll putt. Uh, yeah, pushed a little deep, but. It's a little deep. It kept turning after the skip. 354 Annie, which I feel like is a perfect little turnover for the cicada. Yeah, this is your bread and butter right here. He's putting the pressure on now. Turn it. Oh, we got the tailwind. Oh, it did. It stabled just her out. It a little stable. Looks like we got a putt off. We just had a guy play through and he said is is so strong of a tail yeah. and his Rolo stabled out on him. So we're dealing with some tough conditions here. <laughs> I think you're out. You want me to take it? <laughs> you want me to put the pressure on? Yep. I thought you I thought you were out. Oh, how do you want it? Straight up or stepper? <laughs> stepper, jam it in there. All right. Channel my inner Chris Dickerson. Oh, <laughs> that was a good try. Yeah, it was. I thought you chinged it from my angle. I thought I'll I did get too. you on a stepper. Yeah, stepper versus stepper. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why that yeah, that's why you don't step. That's why you don't step. No. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, if Dylan makes this. He wanted to pick these up. Yeah, I, was I, said, saying, no, I said pick them up. <laughs> I said the fans don't want to see us miss 16 footers. 
Oh. I'll take the stroke though. Let's go. Why'd I do that to me? I don't know why you did that to yourself. <laughs> you know, guys, we got to get better. We're out here grinding. All right. So that puts me up one after that. So I, I'm feeling good about this now. We got another big tailwind, which definitely opens up the forehand here. 245 foot par three. Oh, Dylan, he turned it. Come on. Oh, oh and a, what a kick. Lucky Back guy. dead center. That flipped up way more than I thought it All would. All right. I don't really know where we're going. It's obviously just around the corner. Yeah, it's not super long, just around the corner. We're going to go fan grip turnover. Ooh, that could be good. Really get it spinny. Too straight. It's this tailwind, man. Oh, I oh. got a good kick, though. I got a good kick. So you're actually putting now. Could, in theory... Get your stroke back here. We're gonna try, we're gonna ching one. <laughs> You've been enjoying our uh, local courses here in Charlotte so far? Yeah, they've been nice. It's been good to get back in the woods, play some real disc golf. Uh, not the best weather last week. We've been <laughs> playing a lot of rounds in the rain, but figured why not go see all the courses at least, and then we can start filming. Not not blind on every course would be great, so. Well, I'm excited to see you tear nice. up some of these uh, longer courses on those uh, nasty hyzer flip lines. Have yeah. you, you're looking to do a series, right? You wanna? Go try and shoot under par on the gold layout at what Nevin or Hornets? Something or like that, guys. I'm trying to think of like a, you know, kind of like a like a break 68 sh shout out, I guess that type of vibe. Go to the hardest course in the area, pick a good score that I think like if you beat that, it's you're shredding. And every week, go out there and try and shred. Yeah, go check it out, guys. <laughs> go subscribe so you can see that. It's gonna be a really fun series this uh, this year. Oh, Dylan. <laughs> <sighs> Woo. Yikes. I had a lot of chain there. That's a tie ball game. Yeah, that's a good stroke for me. Just right like there, that. Nice job. You got it back. You got it back. <laughs> Pretty much like a 215 foot little hyzer here. I'm gonna just fan grip, a little push shot. See what we can do. Um, Joe from another round. Little left and skipped so far left. Joe's little brother aced this with a zone OS. Hammer flex just, and then just <laughs> skipped right in. It was sick. <laughs> Beautiful ace. All right. You were, you were, are you in the circle? It's going to be close. I, I, dude, mine launched. I don't know how a cicada skips that much, but it did. Oh, it did. I like that better. Ching it. Bring it. Oh. Oh, you sat too. We're gonna just try and get a little spinner at it. Mm. Showing off the touch. Oh, dang. Wow. Come on. Ah, off the oh, cage that again, thing dude. Just shattered, it sounded like. Did it break? No, but it sounded like it. The KCs <laughs> will break if you give them, if you give them uh <laughs> give them some band action, KC they'll shatter you. Probs. Unfortunate. 8B here, 210 feet, yellow or uh, yellow band, red band up there. I'm thinking a little Annie forehand, just a little, little smooth guy here. Ooh, that was very smooth. It even flexed out. I'm going to hit the same line, but the outside. Like something like that could be great. Oh, oh. Mm, almost good. You could get a birdie here. I should get a birdie. <laughs> you should get a birdie here. I wasn't <laughs> going to say it. <sighs> wow, I need to practice disc golf. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> we both need to practice disc golf. You know, last time we did a battle, I was I was down three going into the back nine and we tied. So you, you know I'm a back nine charger, right? That, that looked beautiful. I just gotta <laughs> just putt, just jam them in. It's literally so easy and I just don't, I make it hard. Full nine, 260. Dylan said it goes way down the hill, so. Yeah, way right, right. like you really gotta turn really this one. Really try and just turn it. Ooh, get around the corner. 
You might be Damn. putting, dude. That was a really nice shot. I don't know if it got down. You cut it a enough. little too tight, yeah. maybe, but Let's see. Like, like in a perfect world, I'm forehanding a stable wraith or a destroyer. Yeah. Like full, full gas. So this one's kind of down there. Does it turn? No. Nope. Please hit something. It's looking good for me. <laughs> well, you might get your three strokes to go in with a good lead in the back nine. That was that's worst case scenario. Well, I put myself in absolute jail. This is by far my worst shot ever on this hole. He's in circle two. <sighs> Luckily, I don't have to throw the cicada again. I'm gonna keep it on the discraft wavelength and go with this uh, captain's crafter here. The forehand. Oh, I had to just play for bogey, man. Okay. If we can save a bogey here, that's a win for me. Ching it. Oh, almost saved the par. That was close. Come on. No. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Dude, you pop the second one because it doesn't matter, I think. I know. That's what, literally, I'm cracked player two. If I could just pop them on the first time. The pop on that those last two putts were like perfect. <sighs> nice putt. See, you you jam them no matter what. I'm like, if I could just do that. You got to jam them, dude. Like, you pop. Because then if you go long and you go to 25 feet, you just pretend, you just pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what we're doing on this channel. I like it. <laughs> that's how we roll over here. Both so you're, you went up one there. You're now yeah. up one. So I got a par. You got a bogey. You got a bogey. So that tied us back? Or no? You're up one. Yeah, okay. He's up one going into the back nine over on his channel. The Cicada, it's definitely a disc that I really enjoy. Um, they're just still, I think, a touch too stiff for me. I would like maybe a little slightly more kind of supple plastic. But overall, it's a really fun disc to throw. Like you said, it's like a longer Buzz SS, and Buzz SS yeah. is one of the most fun discs that I, really, I, I can throw the same. I can throw the same lines with the Buzz SS as the Cicada. The Cicada just goes a little further. Like I don't know. Definitely, I recommend them. It's probably going to be in my bag for this year. Let's uh, see how this thing turns out on the back nine. Last time I was down three, came back to tie. So we're still not down too bad. We're only down kind of bad. I'll see you guys in the next <laughs> video. Take don't want to be down bad. Nope.